This is what your yard looks like when you mow. And this is what your yard looks like when you haven't mowed all year long. Neighbors say they're fed up and they contacted Call 6 Investigates for help. Well, we walk the dogs most every night if we can. And to see this, it just irritates my husband and I. Carolyn Patton says the problem started in December when her neighbors moved out. The Dan line, I've never seen one that huge. Weeds, grass, measuring more than a foot tall. This is just the front. Wait till you see the back. This is what Carolyn's family looks out at from their back living room and patio. Weeds are almost to the top of the fence. Nothing's being done. It's not just an eyesore. High weeds and grass can pose a health hazard too by attracting insects and rodents. I've already got an increase of spiders and critters in the backyard. Carolyn contacted property management. They sent a letter to the homeowners. Haven't heard anything else. She also filed a complaint with the Mayor's Action Center several weeks ago, but the grass stayed like this. I finally said I'm um, contacting you. Call 6 Investigates check with the city and learn they inspected the property on May 14th and mailed the property owners a violation notice, giving them until May 29th to mow. What's your reaction to that? Uh, um, that's something I would have liked for them to let me know that that was going to happen. The city emphasizes they give property owners 10 days after mailing a letter to comply. If they don't, they'll send a vendor to mow and send the property owner a $363 bill. If a property is abandoned or vacant, it is the responsibility of the property owner. We tracked down the property owner. They moved to a different house just over a mile away where the grass is mowed. The property owner tells me she's letting this house fall into foreclosure. They can't afford it due to her husband's back injury. The city says they know things can happen and will work with property owners. If you have an eyesore in your neighborhood, you can contact your HOA, property management, and the Mayor's Action Center. And there's one more idea you might not have thought of. The state has a good Samaritan law that says if you believe a property is abandoned or vacant and you live next door or you're interested in buying it, you can in good faith mow or clean it up. You're more than welcome to do that under the Good Samaritan Law. Carolyn says she's tempted to cut it herself, but she's afraid that will be just a band-aid to the problem. Oh, if we want to think about moving, how are we going to be able to move, put a house up, get full value with this? No matter how well we keep the house up, when they look at this, this is an eyesore. Kara Kenny, RTV6.